Good morning everyone. A couple of weeks ago I showed you how toads and frogs and newts migrate to the waters every year. And they do this in February. Now we're a couple of weeks later, it's mid-March, and this is the water I was talking about. This large pond in the middle of the forest is where toads and frogs and salamanders reproduce every year. And they do that in March, sometimes April. So today I'm here to document this annual spawning behavior of these beautiful amphibians. And today I'm looking for toads mostly. And these toads reproduce every year. They mate for a couple of days to weeks. So usually around dusk, the females enter the water. And before they do so, the males, they clamp onto the females uh, and they use their front paws to clamp themselves against the female. Uh, this is known as an amplexus. And during this amplexus, uh, the actual fertilization of eggs takes place. And this happens at the moment the female releases her eggs. And right after, the male deposits his sperm onto the eggs, fertilizing them. Sometimes multiple males even overwhelm a female, drowning the female in the process. And the females produce these strings of eggs that they deposit in the water. And when a female releases her egg strings, it can be up to 16 feet or 5 meters in length, containing 6 to 8 thousand eggs, which are a few millimeters in diameter. And these thousands of eggs, over the course of a couple of weeks, depending on temperature of course, develop into tadpoles. Over the course of a couple of months, these tadpoles develop into juveniles which slowly make their way out of the water and into the forest.